What's up, everybody? This is your man, DJ Square Knot, uh, coming out of North Kakalaki, y'all. Shout out to all the DJs around the world doing their thing. Um, I am, my goal is, is to try to provide as much information as possible, um, especially for those who are either new to the game or maybe they've been in the game for a while and just can't remember a few things. So my goal is to try to help them as much as possible. And one of the things that I have actually um, been asked uh, numerous times is uh, whether or not um, is there an easier way to go from one, in this case, MacBook to another MacBook. Um, let's say as a DJ, you use a program like Serato um, and you wanna get all your crates from one uh, notebook to the old notebook. Now, some would say copy over your Serato folder and I personally have done it and it didn't work well for me. Um, and that's because you cannot go and actually edit the path um, on your, um, in your Serato. So when you do it, that means you would have to change the name of your hard drive if it's not Mac, Mac Macintosh HD, which I've changed mine to like Mac user. Um, and then also, um, uh, if you have uh, a, a set of library of library folder where you store stuff, um, you may find it a little bit difficult when you're shifting, trying to shift directly from one machine to the other. Now there is software out there, but the way that I'm about to show you um, has worked for me 100% of the time, not 50% of the time, not 75% of the time. It's worked for me 100% of the time. And also, um, another talk has always been said that the best way to manage your files, your, your tracks, all your music tracks, is to, if, especially if you're playing from a hard drive, is to mimic the folders on your hard drive to the mimic to the folders you have in your DJ folder. And in this case, again, I'm going to be using Serato. So you're kind of killing two birds with one stone with what I'm about to show you because you'll be able to prep your hard drive just as you had it in Serato. You're going to shift it over and then you're going to go to the new notebook and you're going to plug your external hard drive into it. And either you could copy them locally or you can leave them on your hard drive. That would be your way of doing it. Um, so let's get right into it. So, um, as you will see here shortly, I'm going to bring up my Serato screen. Um, and in this Serato screen, uh, let me go to it real quick. Bear with me here. Me. Of course, I had all these set prior to. And as soon as I get ready to share, we want to have some issues, but here we go. So, this is Serato DJ Pro. Um, this is the latest and greatest version. And what we have here, as you see, and let me let me go ahead and set that up. I don't have it connected to a controller because um, if you're doing this, you don't really need it connected to a controller. Um, you can just uh, do it offline. So like in here in my folders, for example, I got, these are just some folders that I just left in here. I have a birthday folder, class 97, crowd movers, slow jams, recordings, uh, so a drop, um, and that's for my grandson, BK, uh, Marvin Gaye, uh, these, like I say, these are just, I basically went in and cleaned out my entire Serato and have been rebuilding um, just because um, I've been carrying around so many tracks and I just want to try to 
limit that and use only what I really need um, plus a little bit more instead of carrying everything. So um, we're going to start like this. So you got, this is your old notebook. So you got all your tracks here. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to your finder and you want to go to your hard drive. Now, of course, I got a bunch of stuff here, but I made a folder called PC to HDD. Let's see if we can find that. Okay. So PC to HDD. And you see that the first folder I have, I have birthday. So what I did is I created a folder on my hard drive called birthday. And I will send these over to the trash just so that you can see me do it live. And what I did there is I got the birthday folder here, just as I have here. In my birthday folder in Serato, I have five tracks here. So these five tracks, Command A, you can also select the top and go to the bottom and collect shift. Uh, so there's a couple ways to do it. So sometimes, depending on your machine, it may even let you just drag from the bottom to the top. So, but anyway, so I'm going to go Command A, and then I'm going to bring up my Finder window. Now, if you try to do this, you're going to have to position your windows to where they kind of, um, uh, let me see here, where you have, let me make sure that we have these windows, because you may not be able to see my other window. So I'm going to stop sharing for a quick second. I'm going to change it to my desktop so that you get a chance to see everything. So now we should be able to see everything. So with the Serato window, um, just as you saw before, um, I have the birthday folder there. Then here, you, saw, you see now where I have on my hard drive, I have, I've created a folder called PC to HDD, PC to hard disk drive. And then inside of that, what I've done is I've created a folder called birthday. Now, the birthday folder, I'm going to take these tracks from here and put them right in this birthday folder. Now, watch and see how easy this is done. You just make sure that you uh, reveal both windows enough so that you can just drag. So drag, just pull on, just like I'm doing. And then you're going to go over here and just drop. And you see what they're doing. Those files are actually copying. And just that simple. That is on the hard drive now. Now we could do the same thing again. So we got class of 97. New folder, class of 97. So now I'm gonna go to my class of 97 folder. I'm gonna grab these. Drag them up, drop them in. So now you get the point there. So my birthday folder, my class of 97 folder. So this is coming from the hard drive. So now let's pretend that I've taken my, and what I'll do is I'll even disconnect it just to show you. So I'm disconnecting my hard drive. Hard drive disappears, it's gone. Okay, so magically, I am moving over to the new hard drive new new machine so now i'm going to the new machine and i am going to change this right here just for the purposes of this deal now so i have no and let me delete this crate because you'll see what happens here shortly so now I'm going back to my hard drive and I'm going to that PC to HDD folder that I created. So now this folder is here. And you see, I got the birthday and I got the class of 97. 
So you see those are there. So the best way to do this, because when you drag them this way, when you drag directly from your hard drive to here, you see you get them like that. Well, actually it's working now. They must've updated that. So that's perfect. So you see what I just did. I just grabbed it directly from my hard drive and dragged it directly into Serato. I'm gonna do the same thing with the birthday. Drag it directly into Serato. You see that? And those files are there. Now, the good thing about this is, for example, let's go back here and you, some of you are probably wondering, well, does it keep all your cue points and everything? So this is the old tracks. You see that? So I'm gonna eject that. Now, that was the birthday folder, right? Now watch this. And you'll see that it does. It keeps all the settings and everything that you did for the, on the track originally. It keeps all of that. It keeps all the properties of the, that you've set on the track. And when you come to the new machine, if you do it this way, you won't have any problems. And it plays just fine. So I don't know if you can hear that, but it plays just fine. Everything is just fine. So in a nutshell, that's the easiest way to transfer your files. Um, and of course, it's a little bit more work. It's a little bit more work. So just keep in mind that it's going to take you some time. If you're one of those that has a million folders in Serato, you may find yourself doing a little bit more work. But the key to it is this, is that now inside your hard drive, you have a, a, a folder version, a mimicked folder version of what you have in Serato. And that you cannot be. And I accidentally un unplug uh, my hard drive but that's pretty much it so i hope this has been helpful and i hope that um this will uh aid you in doing the task of what some of us djs wound up doing just like myself i'm in the process right now um and that is basically keeping the libraries clean um keeping them keeping everything in order and preparing for this new year of 2020. So um, I thank you again. This is your man, DJ Square Knot, um, and I hope to see you soon. And don't hesitate to like this channel. Don't hesitate uh, to reach out to me. Um, I will be posting more and more tutorials of the sort and other things I'll bring your way, you know, just general conversations about the culture, um, and other things uh, about music, about um, styles, all that, you know, so it's all coming down the pipe. So um, I thank you again, and uh, we'll chat soon. Peace out.